Hey, y'all. This is the uh, solo Graham Guy Coco Hoodin. <clears throat> sorry, uh, podcast. Um, sorry, one second. We're gonna. This is gonna be fun because <laughs> I'm low key kind of trolling because they all fucking ain't show up. Granted, they all got shit going on, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so we're gonna run it. I gonna play the game as well. I'm gonna review some stuff, watch some stuff, see what's happening in the world today. I'm gonna talk personally about some things I want to talk about. Just fuck it. You can't rely on people. People will promise they're gonna do everything and then never show up. Don't we know it? <clears throat> you can call this one in the royal purple. God status. <laughs> Those who know will know. Uh, we just gonna run it. I don't even care. Hopefully it's interesting. Hopefully y'all like it. Definitely always. You know, we positive vibes over here. Oh shit, hold up. This will be part of the record. I don't even care. I gotta get my uh, my beads. I'll be right back. I don't know if y'all can still hear me, but I haven't noticed how long this walk. And a shot for good content. <laughs> it was sick, Motherberry. Holy Mother Spirit. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck that thing. First off, <clears throat> I'm up stupid early. Um, tell y'all about. Let me tell y'all about my week. Let me do that one. That's a good one. But today, I fucking woke up getting cussed out for some shit I didn't even do. Like one of my friends will say, um, is having an issue, which is an important and real issue. Um, so she had a kid, she's Japanese, had a kid with an American dude, and he's not showing up to do what he's supposed to do. He's not even trying to like see the kid. Her birthday was October 16th, the kid, and he didn't see her or talk to her. And I think she, she has to be about two or so now, maybe one and some change. I don't know. She hit me up randomly. But her mother is super passionate, super, like, if she love you, she love you. I can say that for a fact. Like, if she like you, and if she love you, she going to give you the world. Like, she want to be happy. She want you to be happy. And you being happy makes her happy, as long as you're loyal. That's the most important thing. <clears throat> Sorry. But... She found a fuck nigga. And because I don't like, I'm not going to sit here and feign that I'm like the best dad in the world. I'm like not near my kids, which does definitely suck. It does hurt. Like, it's one of those things where, but, you know, it's one of those things where I think about constantly. 
due to my position and job in life for now it can't be a thing uh, it will be soon like i'm planning on like going crackhead mode but it's like my kids know me and they're comfortable around me like they see me and they're happy because they know who i am like they get whatever and anything that i can give them i will give them like that's what i do like i'm not perfect by no means and i'm not saying that makes it okay i wish i could be there every day like i miss my kids all the time 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 like I have so many pictures in my phone that I just go through. Like I could, I have pictures that people, like nobody's ever seen before. Like this, I have a, like, like they are my world. I just don't broadcast it to the world. I don't need that for validation, like validation. I will post the occasional picture on my like social medias in which, you know, like I, express in a moment like how I feel because I usually I don't know why it's weird for me but like when people sleep it's like it's like it's like the most you 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 know what I mean like you like you just relax like ain't nothing going on you ain't worried about nothing you ain't thinking about nothing like your facial expressions everything about you just kind of like come out in that moment so when people like sleep especially in weird positions or like at weird times like at work or whatever like got you <laughs> it just I don't know it's a weird thing like it's not even like it's not even um it's more so like a joke, like to make fun of you, like got you, like I'd rather not draw on you or like disturb your peace. And I'm more so rather just like get you and it'd be good and that's done. But no, so I got like a, like a bunch of pictures actually. Uh, actually and in Porth, huh? I said your last name, but that's whatever. You know who you are if you ever watch this. I had a whole album, <laughs> like, catching you sleeping in different and weird-ass places so the cat walks into B-52. It's just, just on the ground to wherever. Like, I was going to make a blanket before I left, and then I got orders, but I couldn't, which I guess I got to stop talking like that. I don't know. Like, let me know. Like, is it, like, like the military lingo or whatever? Like, is that, like, an issue? Like, because we do that a lot, and, like, we talk about and we say a lot of acronyms. And I'm like, I don't know if y'all actually y'all know what they are or not, but I don't know if it's like annoying or like y'all just be on y'all Google shit. Like fuck it. <laughs> anyway. Um, because <clears throat> I definitely tangent it way off. <sighs> so woke up getting cussed out and to the same thing I was talking about before, I do not showing up. And I'm trying to explain to her because she's asking me about one organization in the bigger organization and i'm like that's not what they do like you don't want to go there like you have to ask yourself a couple questions when it comes to this it's like do you need him and it's like you don't need him fuck him like that's what really it really what we got to be doing out here like if you don't need somebody in your life fuck him like it, 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 my, my, my normal is they don't pay your bills they don't pay you you're not fucking <laughs> they provide you no pleasure other than fucking you know it's like a friend more so fuck them flat out like and it's probably one more to that i just can't think about it right now like i'm literally on like three hours of sleep and i just got up because i thought we was going to shoot today but i'm like the only one here and i'm about to upload this straight to youtube raw as fuck like no editing or nothing like i don't even care it's in gram life <laughs> we crazy out here um Give a fuck, nigga. Talking to Willie Man. I'm I'm in the middle of a stream. Like we not like this ain't important. Like this ain't a Saturday thing. Hold up. 
I'm gonna let y'all know what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm already recording. I don't give a fuck. Straight <laughs> uploading. to the channel Wait. when done. Solo mode. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, because I'm just... I have ADHD, y'all, just so y'all know. Literally, like, prescribed, diagnosed, yes. Um, so I'm all over the place. I do whatever I want, whenever I want. Like, I kind of just move through life, and this is how that works. Um, I didn't finish telling y'all about it. Yeah, anyway, so fuck nigga. Um, you didn't see it on our birthday, which kind of actually hit me. Like, I felt bad because I was like, I never miss any of my kids' birthdays. Like, I don't care. Like, I know, like, I can tell you, they born four years, four days apart, one in 2014, one in 2019, both in August. I do not play about that. Like, they will always see me and they will always get a gift. Like, I will go all out, I will go broke, not eat. Like, to make sure they have great birthdays. I have stuffed animals in my room currently. I should bring them out, but I'm not. Next time. But I have stuffed animals in my room that, like, not to say represent, but I have bought one for each of them. They're, like, giant teddy bears. One's a giant teddy bear. Well, dog. And then one's a giant bunny. And I know exactly who is one, like who, which one would go to. And I'm gonna give it to him personally. I was gonna ship it, but then I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna give it to you when I see you, because I'm gonna see you again. And but I use them in the sense as like a keep on going, like a motivation kind of thing. Like you know, like we need our triggers. You know what I mean? Like we need our things in life that kind of push us forward. You know, because we constantly go through bullshit, like. And recently, more so, like, this week has been kind of bullshit. Like, it's been good week. Don't get me wrong, but, like, in the, the feel of things. Like, that's what's been bullshit. Like, and not even for me. Like, so, I'm an empath. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of, like, feel people's emotions. So, when people go through shit, like, if I care about you, like, I go through it with you kind of deal. Like, having gone through so much, I know, like, those feelings. You know, we talked about this during, the, like, the mental health, epi- uh, mental health episode. And it was, like, one of those things where, like, the underside of it is, like, life sucks sometimes. But I don't mean give up. I don't mean quit. They don't mean... Like, your struggle was harder than somebody else's or more important than anybody else's. It's like, I hate when people compare or compete when it comes to struggles. It's like, yeah, we both struggle. Is there something maybe I've been through that I can help you with? Or is there something you've been through that you can help me with? Like, we need to start helping each other more. We need to start, like, doing things for each other. And kind of like pushing each other forward as a whole. Like, I'm sorry, one second, because I'm gonna see if I can make this as less blurry, blurry, because they all be coming at my camera all the time. I don't think it's that bad, but they hate it. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, that's important. Like, we have to start supporting each other. Like, we got to start. Like, and I'm like, I'm really like, I hate to say hippie, because it's so cliche and like cringy a little bit. Like, but. I'm really like, yo, it's not that bad out here if we support each other. If you out here alone, this shit miserable. Like, 
we hate to be alone. Like we, as people, are a pack mentality since we've been like prehistoric ages. Like we have been. I'm gonna help, 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 help for the cause. Like hunter gatherer. You know what I mean? Like provider, whatever. Well, it's hunter gatherer, but you know, we're both are providers. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm telling y'all, like, even when on stream, like, like when we not stream, but like chat or whatever, like, we really like me more so. Y'all see, like, I'm like hella tangible. Like, I, I will go on and I can talk for hours. Like, I'm talking to myself right now, and it seems like I'm having a whole last conversation. Like, y'all replying to me. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Like, my father used to say, and how he got my mother which was probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard in my life. One second. He said, there's a million things in the world to talk about. We just have to pick one. And I swear to God, <laughs> I swear to God, y'all like that shit right there. That one hit me. That one hit me. And it resonated with me. And it's how I literally live my life when it comes to interacting with anybody, not even just like talking to a girl or whatever. When talking to anybody, there's a million things in the world to talk about. We just got to pick one. <laughs> and I pick one and we pick one and it just fucking branches out into everything. Like, I've like that's one thing I say I can say I've been blessed with some wise and smart ass people in my life. Like, and they come through when I need them to. And that's what kind of puts me in this like mode where I'm just hella chills all the time because it's like I already suffered the first part of my life. You know what I mean? Like I already suffered. So either I'm gonna help you and we gonna grow. Are you going to grow? Or it is what it is. <laughs> like, I can't, like, I don't know. Like, like, people care a lot about the wrong things. Like, they want to put themselves in positions or feel like they need to be in positions. And they don't, not to say put in the work to get there but they don't know what it means to put in the work to get there. They feel like I'm just going to do it, but they don't know how to do it. They don't have the roadmap worked out. Like there's nothing there. And it's like, they see people like me, which I'm, I may be overly confident. I don't know. But at the same time, I deliver a lot. Like I deliver. Like nobody who knows me can be like, yeah, nah, he a fuck up or nah, he ain't good. You know, he ain't the shit. Like, not say he ain't the shit. Nobody really ever gonna say that. But like, they're not going. They they can't talk bad on my name. Like, because I'm very straight up. I'm very upfront. I'm very honest. Off rip, because like one thing I always say: you never play with people's emotions. Like, I have my mannerisms and the things that I'm always gonna say. You know, y'all hear me say literally a lot. You know, like. But what I mean, or do you understand? Like, like I say, I say those kind of things like all the time. But like, that's always what I say. Like, I am consistent, constantly. Like, and yeah, that's just me. I know me, which is why I'm able to talk to myself. I guess for like an hour or so, talking to y'all, my supposed audience, whoever's gonna watch it. I don't know, but it's just one of those things where. How can I put it? I'll, it's about to tangent off again. Fuck it, let's tangent. I love motivational things. To the point where even on my feeds on YouTube and now Facebook, I guess like they both just kind of like talk to each other. And like I've been getting constant motivational messages. Like I've been posting them to my Facebook. Granted, I make some public but a lot i i think i said this before but i said like i share things to with myself 
more so than I like. This is like, hey, in the future, in case you need it, just, just watch this. Like, I'm not self absorbed or conceited. Like, I just love myself. And that's something that I try to tell people to do often is love yourself. Like, that's so powerful. When you love yourself, it's hard for you to fall to other people who don't love you. Like, it's easier for you to recover when you do sometimes trip and fall to people who don't love you. Like, love yourself. Know your worth, your self-value. Know your purpose serve that purpose move forward like always move forward never trip never fall backwards never let anybody downgrade you never let anybody be so powerful enough to ruin you when you believe in you like that power is beyond anything because nobody can break you. Nobody can break you unless they are legitimately better than, I mean, you, you should listen to people. I'm not saying you don't listen to people. You always listen to people. And the only thing, they, they still shouldn't be able to break you because you know everything you've been through. And that's just like life. But there are people out there who can read you in a sense. Um, and listen to what they say definitely like whenever anybody has an opinion or perception of you it's an image that you gave off and it's something that you should kind of like take heed into and understand like first but at the same time don't let go of you so like if you are a balloon and you're holding that balloon there might be somebody who might grab that balloon and like play with it a little bit but you never let go of that string. You hold on to that one because it's you. And when they let it go, hopefully they don't pop it. <laughs> but they let it go. It'll run off and do whatever it's going to do. And you hold on to that string. And that's you. No matter what. Don't let too many people hit with your balloon, though. We don't do that. But anyway. <laughs> like. Yeah know you love you no matter what like i'm getting really personal here but i don't even care it feel good i go fright it's like i'm like i don't even know what this is i'm just like talking to myself but to y'all i guess like i guess having an audience kind of makes it easier like when you have to talk to yourself but Or as I guess it was like, love y'all or love yourself. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, the channel. Give me one second, Joe. All right. I got a text. <laughs> you're welcome what the fuck anyway hey not my job but green shoulder i know you're never gonna probably see this but you the shit you're probably one of my favorites <laughs> you know your position fucks with you um but anyway, uh, one sec. Oh my God, like my nose has been on fleek and I have nose hairs out of this world. Luckily, y'all can't see him. 
but anyway um the channel uh One thing I've always wanted to talk about, we haven't yet, and I don't even know if anybody's ever really going to see this, and maybe I should cut it up, but I'm going to release it raw. So I'm just, this whole thing is going to be one thing. So if you see it, you see it, you're a real one. Thank you. Um, it don't take much to share, to support somebody you know, to like, like a page that somebody shares like if we're all out here trying why not and i'm not going to sit here and pretend like i'm the best at doing it i'm not but it does stand to represent how important people are to you so if my friends release something and they're promoting anything i tend to try to always like no matter what like because it costs nothing except to press like or to subscribe or to do whatever and so it's like in general why is it so hard to press like and subscribe? That's not me as a shameless like plug or whatever. Like y'all don't have to. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. And granted, everybody here probably already has, but it's not in a matter to get you to do so. With us, at least. But if you have that friend who's trying to like, who's doing their own thing, their entrepreneurship, and they're doing their like best, like support them support stop being we need to stop this crabs in a burrow mentality where we're just going to pull everybody else down because our shit ain't good or our shit ain't right that's not okay like we really need to start supporting each other like we need to start doing anything and everything that we can to push each and every one of us forward because if you know them, in a sense, it's like, it's a means that maybe they can support you in whatever you want to do. Like, if you have an ambition, at least. I don't understand that. It's always been one of the things that bothers me, where it's like, hey, your friends get some shit. Like, and I have dope-ass friends who support all of our units, like, like our, um, <laughs> who support all of our, like, groups, I guess you would say, like, my high school, in a sense most of us are still all friends like we support each other like nobody's business and i love y'all for that too y'all the shit it's one of those things where i wish everybody thought in the mentality that we thought in because like my high school is like i knew you so everything you do and what you do i love and i'm gonna support like because i know you now, I don't mean that you're going to, I don't agree with everybody in my high school. I mean, that's like a known thing, but let's say out of 400 people, even if like 180 or 200 that I actually like fuck with, like, let's say 480 in my class, 300 and something once we graduated, but out of that 170 that I actually fuck with. Yeah, no, nah. like they do shit. And I like, I like, and I'll, the school page or whatever that we have for our class like super supportive like there's like i love that it's super dope and i try to like give my likes wherever those who post and i can actually see it like even if it's like on a story i'll send my likes or whatever like finger guns like i love y'all like those like not even like if i fuck with you like and i talk to you every day but like the fact that you're doing anything and i know who you are i'll support you like always now, now that I'm doing this or whatever, I don't want to say I don't care. Honestly, this is more of a release. This isn't the end. This wasn't even something I even intended on doing. 
or planning on doing it. Like I used to stream, nobody really knows because I never really advertised it. Like a long ass time ago, I used to stream and I tell this story all the time and everybody who knows me, I'm sorry. I know y'all have heard it a million times, but I'm going to explain it because it's going out now into the world. But about at 2014, 13, honestly, since 2011, 12, like up until 2014. So 2011, 12 was me playing StarCraft 2. You're going into it. Yeah, I already know. Um, and in 2014, 13, not 14, 13, is when I started my clan. Uh, it's called Spacebar. And the war stories, <laughs> like we made it. Like I pushed this clan. I had my officers. I was lead, but I never really like. I was lead, but I wasn't lead. Like I made other people like like everybody's opinion mattered. So whatever they wanted to do, whatever we wanted to do, like it mattered. Like I always care for like those who like are there like it's it's one of those things like i i never can like just like i don't know it, it for me it would be weird to just like shit on people and be like no i it's all me it's it's my doing kind of deal like, I, i'm not that kind of kind of person so like yeah no we started at six members and i remember like we in the chat, like we was in the chat, like talking and like it started at six and we were like talking about it. And then I got on one other time and it was like, uh, I think it was, it might've been exactly four of us, but I remember it was uh, my friend, like butter, who I'm still friends with. If you watch this, you know who you are. Um, he was like, let's name it space bar. Cause like at the time I had a laptop and my stepson at the time had pulled my space bar <laughs> off my laptop and it was just like fucked in a sense like I couldn't like so every time I had to even like in your whole space bar it's one button in the middle of your space bar I don't know if y'all know that you had to press that exactly so I just was like fuck that if I'm in the middle of like in gaming at least I just like I would send each word and press enter <laughs> like to like it was, so it would be like, gah, 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 la, 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 la. and anybody who texts me, you know, that's generally how I text anyway. Like, it's like text, 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 and then you reply, like, sorry. <laughs> but uh, he's like, fuck it, let's call it space bar because, yeah, you ain't got no space bar. <laughs> and that shit made me laugh. Like, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And I made it right then and there. And you can only have six letters, so it was S P C B A R, like, and that was our whole clan. When I tell y'all, we started at six and hit a hundred fast. I was kicking people out to invite new people in, like dedicated people. I would log in and have people hitting me up, like they added me, and I didn't even know they added me, and they'd be like, "Yo, we're trying to like." That's, that's clan war like we were like that big like in the servers like so back when they used to track like the rankings in the servers or whatever like so 1v1 we were rank 11 the last time i had checked or whatever rank 2v2 we were two number two in the whole country number two rank 3v3 we were number four and then 4v4 we were number three yeah, I guess, hopefully, yeah, the, it's confusing, but pretty much top five. <laughs> we killed it. We would join games and people would leave. Like, they were like, no, we're not fighting y'all. We already know y'all. And that's not even like, like, so we had like tiers of members. We didn't rank them. Don't get me wrong. It was never like that kind of a clan. I would like literally tell people this ain't that kind of clan. You join, we want to make you better. We're going to be better. We're trying to be better constantly. That's all we did in my clan was try to be better constantly. 
like and i call it my clan but like it was our clan like we were a family like we would literally join in and like log like we didn't even play competitively all the time. We would do like personal things and we'd all be in chat or in the stream and just talking shit, like, but like having a good time. Like it was always fun. Like everybody in my clan felt like a family. Like I'm still friends with most of them to this day. Like it was real shit. And it's like one of those things where it's like, yes, I sit at the helm because I was passionate about it. Like, it was like one of those things, like my passion is like one of those things I don't take lightly. Like it's, if I'm passionate about it, it's real. And I'm going to push forward. And I did that with that. That was like one of the last competitive games I ever played, like where I put everything into it. And I was like, I love this. Like, and I love y'all. So if anybody from Space Bar ever watches this, like, I love y'all. Like, y'all were my family, and y'all got me through some rough times in those years. And it sucks that it fell apart, but I promise you, if nothing else, I think I might go make it again. Just because, like, it's something that I felt like should be kept. And, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. That's a whole other story. But I was talking, what was I talking about? Those tangents. <laughs> Jeez. I really can't remember. What was I just talking about? Before the tangent of space bar. Like I remember. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, fuck it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's go on to something else. Uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but Colin Powell died. And that's what we're supposed to be talking about today. And that shit hit me. Because if he is who I thought he was, he should have got way more, like, praises. Like, this man served in a period or regime. A presidency that did not support people that look like him. Not saying, like, this is not me hinting at anything. Like, like no, I'm not saying George Bush was racist. No. <clears throat> I mean, um, he served at a point in in a party that didn't always necessarily align from what I understood his views. He was a general in the military. I actually got to find out what branch he was in. I'm not going to front like I know him, know him like that. I That's when I actually expressed that I do not, I, I, like, I need to look up the story. But he served in that. And honestly, like, I'm not even going to front, like, even like I'm serving and it takes a special kind of person to make it there, to make it to general. And then even to the point where you're so good that you become the secretary of defense, like, no, he did the damn thing. And I hope he is as honorable as I think he is. I'm going to look it up and I'll come back and then we'll talk about it again. But the fact that it matters is like he did pass away and nobody said anything. Like he's not on Facebook. Nobody is like on any social media talking about it. Like nobody's mentioned it. And it's like James Brown passed away. And granted, we love James Brown. He's a crackhead though. Uh, so it's like, we know that much when they pass away, but we don't know when like people who literally pushed our agenda forward, like as black people, yes, I'm gonna say it, but fuck you if you hate it. Um, they push our agenda forward, like pretty much show up, like pull up and show up, like, and we don't know now, like, like now that's not important. Like, like nobody cares, nobody talks about it. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm like the autobiographer of, uh, 
biographer because the autobiography I think is like yourself, but biographer anyway of Colin Powell's life. But he did pass away and he was in a position of power and did everything he could to mitigate a lot of bullshit, I'm sure, especially dealing with the regime that he dealt with. Like, and honestly, I don't even, I'm like, I'm not mad at him. Like, because George Bush, like, Jr., Jr., was, I feel so bad for that man. Like, he got put into a position that he, I'm going to say he didn't want to be in, but they definitely pumped his head up to tell him he should be there. He wasn't necessarily ready, but it doesn't take away from his character. So his ability to run the country might not have been the best, but who he was as a person is notable. This man paints pictures. He would visit veterans who were wounded in the war he started, or conflict, not war. The conflict he started, he would visit veterans who were wounded in it. Like, and, I, and like you can't, and this is after he was president, so it's not even like a publicity thing. Like, I, you can't take that away from somebody. When you put that time into it, when you care so much or you paint pictures of people, like, this man legitimately was like, he was a good person. Like, he didn't care to ruin people's lives. And I think he feels so guilty about it. Like, I think he really, it really hits him. It hurts. And this is why I don't, I, I don't beat up on him. Like, it wasn't his fault. Like, he was a puppet. And the greater scheme of things were people more powerful than he was. Push him to do things that he didn't necessarily want to do. Like, George Bush Jr., like, I know you're never going to watch this, but, like, in anything, if anything, like, I'm sorry for them for doing what they did to you because you didn't want to be there. Like, it was never a badge of honor. It was never, you can tell you felt awkward standing on stage the whole time every time you talked. Like, it was weird. Like the whole thing was weird. Like it is because of that. Like I literally decided I would never vote because they're gonna put whoever they want there, there, flat out. And yeah, <laughs> that's I believe it there. I ain't gonna go no more, no more in. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know what that means. But anyway. Thank y'all for those who stayed this long, at least. I um, appreciate it. And listen to me ramble because I really just ramble. Um, it's been dope. This has been the first solo fucking guy, Coco Kujin podcast. Um, please like, like, comment. Everything I said, like, especially if I know you, like, say whatever you're going to say in the comments. Like, I promise you, I will always like, or not even just me, honestly, like the other two hosts, like they always don't respond. Uh, our new host, I don't know if he responds to anything or not. But he commented at least every, like all the time. Like everybody's always invited. Like I said, we love difference of opinions. Like I'm always willing to invite anybody on. Like hit me up. Like y'all know me. If you know me, you know me. Hit me up on Facebook. Well, I just got an Instagram too, but yeah, I'm still kind of iffy about that. Like I've, I've just been kind of posting on it and I don't really know how I feel about it, but you might keep it going. We'll see what happens. Um, but regardless, hit me up. We can talk. I will invite anybody on and we can talk about whatever. Like, I promise you, I am like, even if I got to be over here Googling as you're talking and we're talking, like, I'm going to find out and I'm going to give my opinion on it on spot, like flat out. Um, I would love to have other people on, especially my family members, because y'all all dope. We all dope. Like, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, always, uh, thank you for coming. Peace. Peace, guys.
Jacobs and we're gonna have to stop recording. <laughs> Dumb as shit. <laughs>